Okay, and last time I made this video. This is the second time I'm recording. But it's better lighting. And, uh, oh. What happened? Dang, I just had, like, the perfect... Oh, uh, that's gonna have to do. Oh. Gotta look buff. Okay, so. Um. The next thing that I want to show off. Well, not show off, but... Somebody asked me, and I'm so flattered. What kind of brush do I use? You want to know? On my hair, where is it? And I'm gonna show you all of them, but I got 24 brushes that I use because you know we have different people, the different size hair, different texture hair. This one, my hair texture, like I said, was very, very, very the tightest, worstest, baddest. 4B, I think is the type. Whatever the tightest curl is, I have that. And usually I put my keratin on and I decided, oh, another thing about that keratin, just real quick, um, it has formaldehyde in it. So it relaxes my hair a little bit. But as far as I know, it can wash out. It's just I haven't waited long enough to see it wash out. Once it, like right now, I have my rougher texture. It's, it's about time, like, I have about... You know the inch that they cut off? It's maybe like an inch or an inch and a half of new growth that I decided I was gonna start ironing because it's a lot easier. Why the hell is the Z going on there? <sighs> but I don't wanna let that. This is the brush. I get sidetracked easy. This brush is about the size of, if, you know, for those people old school like me, this is a silver dollar right here. Or a little bit bigger than. 25 pesos. No, just kidding. Um, it's a double bristle brush. It has the, the, you know, the ones that catch the hair on, um, it has bristles to smooth and to catch. These on top are to catch the hair and these on the bottom are to smooth the hair. So when you're passing the blower, um, you know, everything dries straight. That's the whole goal, or the point behind, you know, blowing your hair. But it doesn't always work on everybody else's hair. So if you have hair that doesn't work with this, if this is too big for you, or you just, it doesn't work, these work on everybody. And these are some little, I hope you can see, some little, these are my texture brushes. I have two of these. There, it doesn't matter. I don't need to find the other one, but they both do the same thing. Here it is. I found it anyway. They look exactly the same. They have really hard bristles. This is maybe the size of a dime, a little bit smaller. And you want to. What the hell is that? You want to put this on top of your hair. Um, like okay. Wherever your growth is, you want to put this right by the growth. You want to pull this straight, and it just helps, you know, straighten it. If you have a section of hair, you, this is another use for this. If you are new to straightening your hair and you can't get it straight because this brush is too big for you, or it's just not everything else is straightening except for the texture, just grab this. Or if your hair isn't straightening, it's just like looking kind of puffy but it's not smooth, you can use this brush to straighten and then just follow down the whole length of your hair, pull it back, you know, straighten the, the top, make sure you get the bottom, and then um, once it comes time to build that little bump, if you don't want a small curl with this brush, you can switch to a bigger brush and then you can, you know, just hold your hair up if you want a big, just go straight out straight out straight out straight out and by going straight out it's gonna form all of this hair and it's gonna be like this beautiful bump like this but I don't like volume in my hair I like my hair like the chino so I just uh, I just use you know a bigger brush and I don't lift it up if you saw my video I blow dry mine down and then when I get towards the end uh, just bump it, slightly bump it, but for the most part, my hair lays exactly straight. Dang, I'm getting so hot. Okay, so those are my texture brushes. I have some medium brushes, which are right here. And these are wonder brushes right here. This brush, 
and this brush I can use this brush on anybody your hair can be right here and I can hook you up with this or it can be right here and I can hook you up with this this is like a wonder brush if you can find a brush like this all the bristles were the same but I've used it so much that some of them like are laid down but this <sighs> and it was only like two or three dollars I have a bigger version of that that's a medium one I have more double bristles I don't use this one that much but other people seem to love it oh well we're getting to those in a minute and that's pretty much it for my regular brushes oh and this one that's a medium too then I have of course my collection of metal brushes if you have thick hair I mean like really thick thick hair strands not like dense hair like thin strands but dense that's not what I mean I mean if you have thick hair strands and when you blow dry your hair with a brush like this and it doesn't feel dry it still feels humid and you've been blow drying for a long time try a metal brush like this you can use ceramic but I prefer the metal because I feel like it's a little bit faster but you have to be careful with these because if you don't move them fast it's not like with the ceramic brush how the heat is evenly distributed along the brush these will burn your hair wherever you have the heat concentrated so um, don't fry your hair to a crisp with these. Keep moving the brush if, if you're going to use them. But they're really good for, you know, like taking out any excess moisture. If you have really short hair and you just want to, you know, like form the BBs or whatever you want to call them. Um, you can use brushes like this. And same idea. You just want to, if this is your blower. You want to hold your blower and you just want to, you know, twirl and make sure you're moving your blower back and forth. Otherwise, you will burn the hell out of yourself. Some people like pain, but not me. Then, of course, I have my ceramic brushes, which are right here. And these are really good. These ceramic brushes with these kind of bristles, these are really good on good hair. Which, good hair, good hair and bad hair, my terms. Um, not trying to offend anybody, but pretty much that's how I'm going to refer to hair. So if you're uncomfortable with that, sorry, don't be so insecure. But, um, these are good for good hair, which is hair that's completely straight. Um, and this one, I don't really use that much, but this is pretty much works on all hair. You want to straighten it with a different brush and then you finish with this one and it gives a little curl. So. This one works really good if you are, you know, making the curls that go up. Because sometimes I have a hard time, you know, just twirling and twirling and twirling. And sometimes you have to do it a lot. With these, perfect. This is like a wonder brush too. Um, if you have really, really stubborn hair that will not curl, try it with the ceramic brush. And these are can be used on hair with texture because it has the right kind of bristles that can grab onto the hair but this the barrel is this called the barrel i think it is um it's ceramic so you won't be burning the crap out of your hair like you do with your metal brushes and then i have another one these are kind of expensive but well worth the price and then i have my regular big brushes which you saw my agnes big brush and then i have this one which is you know good for hair that's maybe like shoulder length to nipple length or this one which I used on a girl no lie with about five feet of hair and it was still too small like they sell these huge ones I should have used it on her but I just wasn't in the market for buying a new brush but if I ever get her again I will and this one which is you know just another big brush for shoulder length hair I have a lot of overlap but it's good to have than not to have so I hope you enjoyed my little show but this video is almost 10 minutes and it's gonna take me a long time to upload so I'm gonna leave it at that um if you have any questions any other questions that I didn't cover in this video or my last video go ahead and send me a private message or leave a comment and Thank you for everybody who subscribed and I'm going to just, you know, keep these movies out or keep these movies, keep these videos coming out. This really wasn't like a tutorial. It was more informative, you know, just a FYI. Oh, okay. One more. 
Shampoo conditioner. I'm just throw this in real quick. Somebody asked me what kind of shampoo and conditioner. I you thought I was lying? No. I just filled up my shampoo bottles for school because I refuse to pay like the outrageous prices that they're that they're charging. Bam. Three or yeah. Bam. Three dollars. Bam. Three dollars. Three, three, six dollars. This lasts me a month, no lie. And I wash like multiple people. Sometimes I wash like six people's heads a day. Seven people's heads a day. I'm trying to, you know, get it up to 10, 12. But it takes me a little while, so. Um, can't go wrong with these. Um, oh, and this is shampoo. This is a rinse. And the treatment is $2 too. I don't have that because I didn't go where I usually buy them. But these right here, maybe like a dollar and something. You could buy a couple of these and fill up. The treatment pack. This one's good too. Oh, I may. Okay, I'm not gonna get into that. But yeah, um, damn, I just wasted another minute doing that. I'm out. To look out for my next video though. That's probably gonna be my roller set, and then I'm also gonna do. Um, I don't know. I had it, but I'm not gonna make this too long. I'm out. <laughs>